Hi, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And I am standing on the very stern of USS Croker. We are going to be showing you an exciting video today. And uh, we're just doing a little feeler here. Uh, but we are going to be getting into the port side ballast tank. All right, so the first thing is we do have a little barge or our aircraft carrier and uh, we are moving it into the position so we can gain access to uh, these hatches that were not on the Gato class uh, USS Croker originally but were added uh, near decommission or at, com at decommissioning uh, to allow people to get in there when the sub was inactive and out of service. What rope? What rope? Well, I just had to catch some rope. So, uh, we got to move the pontoon boat and uh, our aircraft carrier, and um, we'll get into position and we'll see you soon. That problem has been settled, and the only casualty was a pair of sunglasses. Right, so what we had to do was we just weren't lining up our opening on our on our CV 716. The opening that we have there just wasn't aligning, and he, uh, Alan Jordan, our maintenance foreman, was leaning over a little too much, and he lost his sunglasses into the Buffalo River. All right, so now we are ready to roll. Here we have, I don't think you've met him before, Jim Marzello. Jim Marzello is the caretaker of the USS Croker. All right, he's an Army veteran and was a Vietnam and served in Vietnam. You have not met him before. And here we have Alan Jordan. You've seen him plenty of times. I can't see if we can go over this thing. And here are the access hatches that we were talking about. All right, so these are not original to the ship. All right, but they allowed uh, the Navy or places like us to get into the ballast tanks without having to go underwater because the valves and hatches were underneath the ballast tank when she was in service. So say if there wasn't a diver available, all right, now we can access them from, from top. All right, so Alan is going to be working on opening that hatch. It's calling to be moved a little bit stern or aft. Are we? We're jammed up there, or? Oh, that's nice. There you go. So we just want that little opening to line up with our opening there. So we will come back to you when we are ready to get into the ballast tank. What wonders will we find? You'll see Alan, Jim, the caretaker of the croaker, and Stephen. And we are now going to attempt to get this hatch off. We figure the last time that it was opened was roughly 10 years ago. So we might be here a while trying to uh, get this off. But we'll check in when we do, and then it's my job to get in there and see what we've got in terms of water. Okay, everyone, we're going to take a little ride with the camera. We've tied the camera off to a rope. We've gotten that access hatch off, and now we're going to lower the camera. I don't know how good it's going to be, but we're going to then we're going to check to see if what what's in there, and then we're going to bring it back out. So. Get ready for a little ride. Does it have waterproof? No, but we'll see how far.
we got to get it tied to the back. Oh. I think. Everyone, well, now I am standing on the ballast tank, and I'm gonna. We tried to do that camera thing. I don't know how much of a scene you saw. It probably was still pretty cool though. But uh, so I'm actually just gonna physically lower, or at least zoom in, and you will see there's. I don't even know how deep this thing goes. So we're gonna have to try and figure that out with the pump. But here we go. Shane, you take the tagline for the pump. Yes, sir. Give Steven your uh, camera. Yes. So, that reflection right there is water. But we don't know how much farther it goes down. Wow, we're rocking, too. And there's the ladder. So, at some point, we might have to climb down that ladder, but... Not today. Not today. Today, everyone, not right. today. Yep, and then just let it pop, man. It's got a float on it. Yeah. It'll stop when it's when it reaches bottom. And uh, if we have to divert it. Underneath the superstructure, run the extension cord that way so we can learn to trip Or we leave it overnight. I don't care. We just put a piece of duct tape on it. Well, overnight, we don't care. Nobody's traveling out. Correct. But for now, yeah, we can leave it right. Uh, duct tape. Or duct tape it to the back. And then when the sub vets come in tomorrow, they can retrieve it. They'll be all excited. So that's the video for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed and hope you found it a little informative. Um, please like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, right, and uh, check out our other social media platforms. Thanks so much.